remember in this video of principal stresses and planes we will see a problem in which a body is being subjected to two kinds of stresses in two mutually perpendicular directions for that here we have a question i'll read this question and write the data along with that now the first thing which is given at a point in a strained material the principal stresses are 200 newton per mm square tensile and 30 newton per mm square compressive so the first kind of stress which is the principal stress i'll say that it is sigma x 200 newton per mm square and this is tensile next 30 newton per mm square compressive so this is sigma y 30 newton per mm square compressive and since this is compressive we have to denote it with a negative sign because in this chapter compressive stresses are taken as negative then determine normal and tangential stresses normal stress is denoted by sigma suffix n tangential stress sigma suffix t on a plane inclined at 60 degree to major principal plane so theta is given as 60 degree and it is to the major principal plane that i'll explain it in the diagram also find resultant stress angle of obliquity and normal stress on the plane of maximum shear stress so after this we have to find out how much is the resultant stress angle of obliquity that is phi and we have to even find the normal stress on the plane of maximum shear so these are the questions in front of us now once we have the data let us try to get the solution to this problem in the solution to this problem first i'll draw the diagram here is the body or a strained material which is given this is the axis now along x we have tensile stress so it is positive 200 newton per mm square along y it is negative because it is compressive next here about theta it is given that determine the normal and tangential stresses on a plane inclined at 60 degree to the major principal plane now what is the major principal plane here see out of both the stresses the stress value which has which is maximum if i compare from 230 200 is the maximum value so 200 is acting on this plane or i can say even this plane so these are called as the major principal plane these are the major principal plane and the plane which is given in the problem it is inclined at 60 degree to major principal plane so since the major principal plane is vertical so with respect to that the angle is 60 degree and this is the plane which is the oblique plane given and we have to find out all the stresses on this plane so once we have understood the diagram we can easily start with the solution to this problem so i'll say that since for a body subjected two stresses in two mutually perpendicular directions the first thing is normal stress so i'll write the formula normal stress is given by the formula we have sigma suffix n 
इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा एक्स प्लस सिग्मा वाई बाई टू प्लस सिग्मा एक्स माइनस सिग्मा वाई बाई टू इन टू कॉस टू थीटा सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस यर आई एल बी पुटिंग द वैल्यूज देर फोर नाउ सिग्मा एक्स इट इज पॉजिटिव टू हंड्रेड सिग्मा वाई इज नेगेटिव माइनस थर्टी सो टू हंड्रेड प्लस सिग्मा वाई इज माइनस थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय टू प्लस सिग्मा एक्स टू हंड्रेड माइनस सिग्मा वाई इज माइनस थर्टी डिवाइड बाय टू इन टू कॉस टू थीटा एंड थीटा इज गिवन यर एज सिक्सटी डिग्री सो फ्रॉम दिस द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस वैल्यू इज कम्स आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेयर so this is the first answer after getting normal stress i'll say that tangential stress is given by sigma t is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 into sin 2 theta so therefore putting the values here sigma y was negative sin 2 into 60 degree so sigma t it comes out to be 99.59 newton per mm square this is the second answer after getting tangential stress the third question was the resultant stress so resultant stress is given by sigma suffix r is equal to root of sigma n square plus sigma t square so therefore putting the values resultant stress is equal to root of sigma n 27.5 square plus sigma t Ninety-nine point five nine square. So from this, I'll get the answer of resultant stress, and it comes out to be one zero three point three two newton per mm square. This is the third answer. After this, the fourth question was angle of obliquity. So angle of obliquity is given by Phi is equal to tan inverse sigma t by sigma n. Sigma t it was ninety nine point five nine, and sigma n it was twenty seven point five. So therefore, phi comes out to be seventy four point five six degree. the fourth answer and at last we have to calculate the normal stress on plane of maximum shear so normal stress on plane of maximum shear it was sigma n is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 so here sigma x it was 200 sigma y Minus thirty divided by two, so the normal stress comes out to be eighty-five newton per mm square. This is the fifth answer, and with this we complete the problem.